Daniel and Natalie's first stop is Australia's east coast to meet some dolphins. Creatures that we humans believe are extremely special with an intelligence that some say is even greater than ours. We humans think we're pretty smart, don't we, Dan? But what exactly does intelligence or smartness mean? It's a tricky question. I think intelligence is present throughout nature and throughout the animal kingdom. It just takes different forms. In, in humans, we think uh, uh, a measure of intelligence is if we can go to university and get a degree. But if you think about the animal kingdom, they have the ability to communicate you know, with themselves and interspecies with all the other animals. And we're the only species that can't do that. So there's definitely intelligence there. I agree. I mean, when you consider bees, they have to remember complex maps in order to find the best pollen. And that's quite remarkable. And some people would agree that it's not humans that are the most intelligent species in the world, it's dolphins. Yep, and we get to meet some. This is the pet porpoise pool in Coffs Harbour, under the care of scientist Scott Taylor, who has been studying the intellectual ability of dolphins for more than 20 years. This is the first time Nat and I will have swum with dolphins in a controlled environment. We're going to be visitors on the dolphins' turf, and we need to know the etiquette. How should we behave around the dolphins? Well, the dolphins, um, like most animals, they're particularly uh, attuned to attitude. So the inner attitude that you have about them, if you appreciate them, if you respect them, if you take a sensitive approach to them, they will know that immediately. We're entering into their home. They're, they're letting us come into their living room, or really their world in this case. Um, so it's about, it's kind of like being a guest in a stranger's home. So what kind of behavior will we expect to see? Well, uh, they will have some curiosity about us. Um, they will be um, a bit wary um, because they're not sure exactly what we're there for. Buck, the oldest dolphin here, will tend to take a lead role. Um, the other two will be following him. They may come around and sort of kind of zoom past and give us a quick once over and then go off to the other end of the pool. They're actually able to look inside our bodies so they can see you know, how excited you are. Um, if, you're, if you're quite calm, that's going to be very interesting to them because most people are very excited. Mm. Now you're interested in interspecies communication. Mm. How can we go about communicating with these dolphins? Well, a lot of it will be body language. That's going to be the first thing. Um, they want to see whether or not you're any kind of a threat to them. One of the strongest signals that a dolphin will give is if they form themselves into an S shape and pause there for an instant. They're saying, "This is my place. You, you know, beware. This is my. This is where I'm going to. I'm going to assert myself." These dolphins, particularly, are likely to come up and uh, open their mouth in front of you. Um, that's not a threat behavior. That's more of a, mm, they're sort of testing you. They're gonna actually are watching your heart rate. So they will see how excited you get, whether or not you get really startled. Um, your startle response will help them to know how calm you are and how much they can explore with you. There's been some talk that dolphins are actually telepathic. That's a big question. Um, it's been very clearly demonstrated that dolphins will understand what it is you intend to do or what we, you would like them to do well before you've even fully formed the thought in your own mind. Now, is that telepathy? Is there some kind of uh, intuition operating? Uh, we don't really know. 